this class, we are going to learn what is the concept of sandbox in Oracle Fusion Cloud application or in other words, why do we need to use the sandbox? So in order to know what is sandbox, we have to visit the documentation page by Oracle that is configuring and extending the product lifecycle management. So here is the short description that is sandboxes are used in order to make the changes to the application, test them without impacting to the other users in the environment. Make changes to the application whenever you are in sandbox rather than making direct changes in the machine environment. Suppose if you want to do any changes on the look and feel of the Fusion application, instead of directly modifying the things in the Fusion, what Oracle has done is, Oracle has brought the concept of sandbox, where it, you can create a sandbox, work on your changes without impacting the actual look and feel of the application to other users because what you do in the sandbox will remain to you only unless you publish the sandbox. So once you publish the sandbox, then only the changes will be visible to other people or other users. So this is in short what it means over here. So there is a warning, you can have a look at this warning when to use and when not to use the sandbox. So it is always a best practice that you create a new sandbox for each process change you implement. For example, that you want to create a set of new basic fields that fit to your business process but have no dependency on the other field. Do that in one sandbox and publish it. If you want to create a validation for the fields, then you create one more sandbox and publish it. So this is a short example they have given. So let's not complicate. For past developers, let's say, if I click on me, I don't want this purchase requisition to come under me. Rather, I want under the procurement. So we will try to move this from me to procurement using the sandbox. So let's learn how to create the sandbox. There are a couple of ways to go to the sandbox. That is one is you can navigate within the springboard. So this is known as a springboard. What you see over here. Click on the configuration and there is a tile called as sandboxes. You can click on this. Other one is you can click on the navigator on the left top corner. So if you scroll there is configuration. You have to click on the sandboxes. On the right top corner, we are having an option to create a sandbox. Click on this. Give some name that is Learning Sandbox 01. Give some meaningful name and the description. Suppose you are planning to do some changes to the Fusion Cloud that you want to publish later. Means publish means you want to deploy the changes so that other users also can see the difference. In that case, you have to select Publishable as. Suppose if you are planning not to publish the sandbox, then select this no. As an application developer or a past developer, you will be mostly using this structure, page integration, page composer and the application composer. So we will try to touch upon this concept one by one in our classes going ahead. So as of now, I will check mark this structure. So later we can go ahead and explore what is page integration composer and the application composer, a basic one. So in this class, we are just trying to change the location of the purchase requisition from me to procurement. So we will go for the structure. So for this class, checking mark this structure will be more than sufficient. You have to click on create and enter. When you enter a sandbox, so sandbox mode will be changed to edit over here. Then what you have to do is click on the tools. You have to select structures. So what tools you have selected at the time of creating the sandbox, it will be visible over here under the tools. Now we are planning to change the structure. That is, we want to change the location of purchase requisition under me. First you have to select me under the structures. That is, we went to structures. Then we have to select under me. Then we have to see where is our purchase requisition. So what we have to do is, we have to click on this arrow, move to, click on this. And we have to select over here procurement. We have to search and select this one. It's under the procurement. Select that. So it will be moving from me to procurement. So it will take a couple of seconds. You are done. Now let me just scroll up. Now we don't find under the me. So this purchase requisition has moved under procurement. Suppose if you are unable to find the particular tile over here. What you can do is you can just search over here with the name purchase requisition. Click on enter. It will tell you there is a purchase requisition. Suppose if you want to know where it is located, just click on this icon. So it will tell, take you straight away to that particular location. So it's under the procurement. Now if I go to the home, let me just go and click on me. We won't find purchase requisition because we have moved it under the procurement over here. 
that is over here. Now those changes will be visible only to you and not to other users because you have made the changes within this sandbox. Now the next question is how these changes should be visible to other users here by publishing the sandbox. In order to publish the changes, click on this, click on publish, click on S and we have to click on publish. Suppose you have not added the structure initially while creating the sandbox and later point of time we want to add then again the concept is same you can just click on publish or sandbox details you will land into same page click on this plus and you can select what more you want to add like for example I want to add messages and clicking on ok so that will be added to the active tools and the same will be available under the tools over here under the options. I need to refresh so that it will be visible. Let me just refresh. And click on tools. Now the messages will be available. So like this we can add the tools at the later stage as well after creating the sandbox. Now let's come back to our topic that is publishing the sandbox. Click on publish. On S. Now all the changes what you made in the sandbox will be visible to all the users because we have publish this sandbox now let me just go to the home now you see there is no bar at the top saying we are in the sandbox if i click on the procurement here you will see purchase requisition and, and if you go to the me there will not be any purchase requisition type so in this class we have learned how to create a sandbox how to make changes on the fusion application that is by adding the tools in this class we had made use of structures that is to move the tile from one category to another that is under me to procurement we had more purchase requisition also we had seen how we can publish the sandbox so that changes will be visible to all the users